historical fact number two. I don't think that's true. This is one you also enjoyed? I was really concerned about this one. Not many people have, um, have really weighed in on this. And we'll have a we'll have a look at that. So it's Gambit and it's by Surge. And it's it's Surge's first ROM hack. It's a debut. And it's a big one, it's 21 exits. What do, what do we know about Surge? It turns out they are from Montreal. They're a Quebec. Yes, we're gonna mispronounce their name as Surge. So it's um yeah, it's their debut, it's a challenging 21 exit chocolate hack. This is one of the concerning things for me. It says it's inspired by the events of my life, including places I've visited during my travels and also in their imagination. It's a unique adventure in an impossible world. So we have some varied levels. There's some vertical switch palaces that are loosely inspired by Elden Ring's Divine Towers, which I will not understand the reference. There's some trolls, not all of them being deadly. There's pop culture references too. Two hidden Kaizo blocks. And custom ASM and of course custom music. And we are playing the 1.1, .1, or at least, you know, the latest one that I could possibly download off the website. Um, so Eric... Um, said after five eggs having a great time, but there's some weird spawning issues. I don't know if that's been corrected. I don't think we've got a timestamp on when the 1.1 came up. Um, yeah, patch 1.1 should be coming over the yeah the coming days and weeks. So I'm assuming that we're on 1.1 now. So don't worry about what Eric has to say. Although it is nice they've weighed in with their difficulties regarding spawning issues. There's a hell of a lot of screenshots. We got the title screen, we got some rotating platforms. That's not an invisible block. Um, I guess that's like a flying disco shell. Oh, uh, the Beatles. Yeah, I'm not really good with these Beatles, hey. We'll do my best. Seems to be like a one screener kind of situation. Um, yeah. This is probably one of those vertical levels that they talked about. Got a bumpy style level. We got oh, there's a background pokey. Hopefully that's not confusing. Uh, <laughs> I got moles. I assume that's a mole and it's turned into a car. Yeah, you bounced on something to get there, and then you got to throw something up. Poison mushroom with the bubbles. Some sort of... Is that swimming? We see a one bubble, so it's probably a swimming level. But then, if it... No, it can't be, because, like, why would there be water in a swimming level? Doesn't make any sense. That's a tight little jump, by the way. Uh, Eerie Escort. Looks nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, man, yeah, that's gonna be... I think the foreground and the background might be a little too similar for my tastes there. And a pretty okay looking lava level with some lava that just ends there for some reason. It's fine, probably. Let's play Gambit. See what I'm getting myself into this time. Uh, what is, what's up with that area up the top there? It looks like you can get there. Maybe you can't, I don't know. I don't think I did the best jump. Having lost sense of who he is, Mario embarks on a quest to find his calling. Many challenges await him. Will he rise to the challenge? Uh, it's a pretty cool looking overworld. We've got the flat. You can press start and select to leave. You can also press select to save in the overworld. Welcome to Gambit's introductory stage, Death Blocks. Alright, so the black outline ones are death. It's good that there's a visual difference between the ones that kill you and the ones that don't. Yellow coins indicate normal jumps. Those are some fancy coins. And the blue is spin. Yellow pipes used for transport. Indeed they are. And they're one ways. Green and orange pipes can be entered in mid-air. That's going to be hard to remember, honestly. Right, we'll work with it. Mario... <clears throat> Mario and Sprite solid blocks. Cool. Sprite bouncing blocks. 
I have died in the tutorial due to being bad. Uh, sprite bouncing blocks. One way blocks. And midway. Sprite killing blocks, yep, indeed. One way hurt blocks. Celeste is what I think of. Oh. Two kinds of Kaizo blocks, I guess. And that's the tutorial. Thus concludes our tutorial. Alright. Oti Cook Gorge. I guess that's how you say it. I'd love to read the message box. Curiosity is a killer. Yes, very funny. This Rayman music, or maybe the overworld was Rayman. Just in time platforms. Ah, <sighs> bonjour. Yeah, I know. I'm playing a French hack. I noticed that. I had a look at their location on their SNW Central profile. It said they're from uh, Quebec, and I figured you'd probably know them quite intimately. Midway. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> well, I mean, I, I really thought I could just respawn the ball and chain. I, uh, I was wrong. You tested for this hack, huh? There you go. Cute fuzzy hanging. Oh, that's all right. Uh, screenshot. That's kind of approximately what you're supposed to do there. Oh, it's kind of a tough one. All right, there we are. All right, we're in the, the Gien's Peninsula. Okay, hold right. Kotikuk Gorge is not far from your place. Oh, now we know. Dox yourself. The paparazzi are already raving your driveway. Uh, well, if it means they had to shovel it first, then it don't matter. <laughs> oh, Chuck. You do be that way, don't you? There's nothing I can do, really. You had to shovel the wombats out of my driveway. <laughs> I have no wombats in my driveway. Whoops. We'll resume our regularly scheduled normal ROM hacks.
All right, almost. Okay. What? What? Oh my god, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I feel like um, you can easily spawn stuff way too early. There's a critter in the attic. Yeah, I noticed that there's uh, in a couple levels there's been like a random fuzzy just chilling. Hanging out somewhere on the screen. the trick. Alright. Had to be a spin. Are you, are you playing Red Dead Redemption 1 or 2? Because I know there was a sequel. Shoved, a thanks for the GL. Alright, do that earlier. GTA 5 was decent once you force yourself to beat it. Yeah, I've not played any GTAs since the 3s. Am I just not getting the shell? Like, what kind of- is that a Blue Cooper? Yeah, okay, it's a Blue Cooper. You can't tell that it's blue. At least, for me, I can't tell that it's blue. Because it's, uh, it's not blue. It's like that. over. Is that good? <laughs> yeah, look, you could die to that shock. The foothills of Mount Tibidabo. That's a real place, probably. Uh, did I ever tell you about the time I went backpacking through Western Europe? I'm sure if I hung out with you long enough, it'd be an unavoidable conversation. But you're really going hard in that game, huh? Uh, there's no way you need the winged block, right? I've got to eventually get good at them. So then... Oh my god. Am I not supposed to have this red guy here? It looks like I do need to keep the question block. It's just the red guy was in the way. So if I jump into the face of this one here... Okay, that's what you do. What does this do? Alright, that platform is one of those ones. Oh my goodness. Please be a checkpoint. That's all I can say about that. So what's over there? There's nothing, I guess. Yeah, I mean, as it's got to be exhausting as a dev to get, you know, backseated by the people that are playing the game.
Dude, wow. What a... That's interesting. Could go so fast there somehow. I don't like that. That's solid. Yeah, it looks like we're going back on the note block or something. So this is where I have to go back. Somehow. Why would you make the tallest possible jump onto a note block, onto a wing block? So down, up, down. See the problem. I mean, that just wasn't going to happen. Did I accidentally collect. Oh, I landed on something you're not supposed to land on. Like that guy, you're not supposed to land on that guy either, probably. I don't like that it's a full jump. The earliest possible full jump to get back on that red guy going left. So then what? Now go over this thing. And uh, it's just a coin. 30. GG. Please no more beetles. Less is more. There's a lesson. The next five rooms feature puzzles that require you manipulate sprites. Multiple strats may be possible. Manipulate the sprites. Those are on off switches and there's screen wrap. So what does this one do? It, it only goes down. And it goes faster than the bats. So now we gotta wait a long time to get this to line up in a way that's good. I've died. Oink point point hype drkrdn gg hype lol drkrdn 99 drkrdn hey party hat life fu gg hype hype will clap holiday present Once we lower this guy down he's not gonna come back up Ah those are those turn to death blocks Alright But then you gotta know when it's gonna screen wrap again. So then... And I had to jump off the beetle to the left. Because this move here doesn't feel good. Like, if there's a possibility that I can run up the wall and go directly onto the, right, the, the bat that's on the back. I don't like it when the game makes you make the setups work. It'd be good to put the effort in so that they just, you know, you just play it. You don't have to move everything around. That's what you're supposed to do. Uh, what do we got now? What can I do in this game? A, it's a beetle themed puzzle, one tile. So what's the next step? I have to throw a shell up. That's death. 
and then got a. What am I looking at? I need the key. I really hate on off switches more than ever right now. So, that guy's too high, so I've got to now like push him down like one loop at a time. I still feel like I'm not going to get this. Like, is that shell going to survive? Yes, and now... I don't think I need... Oh, I do need this, right? Do I think I could successfully cover You Give Love a Bad Name by Bon Jovi on the spot without receiving? Nah. Nah, I couldn't. I don't know it that well. What's the on-off switch for? Like, why... Am I supposed to go back up? Just don't know when that thing is gonna pop out. So what does that do? That lowers. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's something that you can know. So then, how do you get back? Is that jump possible? If that jump is possible, uh, it is possible. All right. I'm gonna keep trying though. It's better. Well, I hope so. There's a lot of cool stuff. I hope so. Like that jump there is, is not my favorite thing. There we are. Where am I? The invisible blocks. Oh god. What is the sequence here? Oh boy, I can't wait for the penguins, the thing that like everyone seems to like for some reason. last bat getting that to trigger at the right time oh god damn it there's another one of these friggin rooms dude so I, I don't know what am I what am I looking at so I need to hit the on off and I need I don't know. I just need to hit the on off. And then figure out a way to get over. Do I need the mushroom? And we'll find out once I understand, like, the beetles. There honestly might be, like, a lineup where it's gonna work. Like that, that almost works. Nah, all right. We'll we'll look at you. We'll look at Yoshi. But like, you can't do anything. <laughs> like, it's like, what could I do? I could lower this guy. Can I? 
That's right, the red ones go up when you stand on them. Forgot about that. I do not like the beetle sprite and they keep putting it in. Yeah, like stuff like that happens. So like... Am I, am I throwing Yoshi into, into the thing? Like I'm doing that first. Then we gotta, now I can't go anywhere. Right. Or I can. got. Historical fact number two. In 1820, the town of Salem, New Jersey put a bunch of tomatoes on trial, accusing them of being poisonous. I don't think that's true. What do you do then? You just have to hold right? No. So what do you do? Like, is, do you go in the lava? Do the sprites care whether you're ducking? No. Ah, oh, there's a, all right. That's really stupid. At least he gave me a checkpoint. Yeah, if it was no checkpoint, that would be the worst thing ever and this would hack and get deleted.